Hi there Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in today's video we're going to create an API key inside Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So the first thing we have to do is to navigate to our setup screen. You can do that by hovering over our name in the top right hand corner and choosing the setup option. Once the screen loads, we'll navigate to the platform tools menu on the left hand side, expand the apps option and click on the installed packages menu item. Now when the installed packages screen loads, you're going to see all the APIs and packages that have been installed in this org. Now for today, we want to create a new API or a new package. So on the top right hand side of the screen, we'll press on the new button. We'll then get a pop-up asking us for the new package details. You can enter an API name for our API today. Make sure you choose a name that's meaningful so that other users can understand what this API is. And for the description field, I like to recommend using something external to send your users to to read more information about the API. So for example, it could be a Confluence page ID or perhaps a Jira ticket. And that way, if someone wants to find more information about what this API is, why it was created and what it's used for, they can go after this external reference point to read more information about it. Now below that is a tick box for the create with enhanced functionality. We want to make sure this is ticked to make sure we use the new OAuth 2.0. Once we're done here, we can press the save button. And when the next page loads, we'll see that our package has been created successfully. And here is a summary of our new API package. You can see the name and description, as well as some information about this new package, including the JWT or JOT signing secret. Now we're not quite done just yet, we do need to create some components for this API to let it work. So the first thing we'll do is press the add component button in the bottom of the screen. We'll then get a pop-up asking us for which component to add to our API package. Now each of these six API types has its own use cases. I recommend checking the Salesforce documentation to read more about what each of them do. But for today, we're going to choose the API integration to make an API for Marketing Cloud. So we'll click on API integration and then click next. On the next screen, it'll ask us what our integration type is. Now we want to use this API for the REST API integration which is a server to server type. So we'll choose the server to server integration type and then click next. And finally, we can choose the properties for this API. Now these scopes are permissions for this API or the things that it can do when it connects to Marketing Cloud. It's really important that for each API, you only give it the scopes that it needs to perform its very specific job. Don't go through and tick all the tick boxes to make this API do everything. Speaking of security, it's a really big security risk to have APIs that can attach to everything inside your instance, because if that API key gets out, then a user could do anything they want inside your instance. So it's really important that you only tick the tick boxes that you need to make this API function the way you want it to. If you're not sure what scopes you need for your particular use case, make sure you check out the API documentation so you understand which scopes you need to use. I've put a link in the description below so you can have a look for yourself. So once we know which scopes we need for our particular API, we can choose those scope options and then click save. And once the screen reloads, we'll see that our package has been updated and our new component for the API integration is shown in our summary. In the API integration section, we'll see some information that is critical for our API. And this information is very sensitive, so make sure you don't copy and paste it into public areas of your business. Make sure it's stored secretly and it's on a need to know only basis. The client ID and client secret are used when creating an authentication token, which you can use by calling the authentication based URI. The REST and SOAP based URI are used for calling your endpoints for conducting various API functions. You also see below a summary of the scopes this API can conduct, so make sure that you modify these if your API needs change. And it's as easy as that. You have now created your own API key inside of Salesforce Marketing Cloud. I've put some links in the description text below to take you to the official documentation so you can learn how to use the access token request and call your very first REST API. If you're having issues, let me know in the comments below. If you have found this video useful, then give a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.